Hello, hello YouTube, how are you doing? I just bought this, it's a Blu-ray disc player and a disc writer. One month ago, yep. And uh, the, where I bought it, they said I have to contact Asus, Asus. And uh, it's been three weeks, so I'm fed up. So I'm gonna see if I can find out what the cause is. Basically, I was installing a game and then when I pressed, I put the disc, it went in, and then all of a sudden, when I went to sit back on my chair, this came out in this position, and I haven't touched it since because I don't want to wreck it. 150 bucks, not cheap. Now, unfortunately, as you can tell, I brought out a power supply. Now, this did work when I brought it out. It's plugged in, and as you can tell with the other plugs, there is current going. You can hear the freezer going, but I don't know, something happened when I first brought it out, and then when I was doing the camera setup, so that's unfortunate. I don't know what happened. I didn't drop it. It's been in this position since, and it was working before. So, we'll have to see manually. All right, nothing seems burnt. I don't see any wires loose. And unfortunately, I think I have to take this off. Nope, is that the, is that it? No, it's not. Here's the fucking rails. My fucking uh, power supply worked. Still won't turn on. Okay, so that's the laser. Ah, it didn't do that before. Okay, so here's the... So this slide moves. 
dish comes up and down. I've never done this before. I've never seen this before. Okay, here's a gear. Doesn't look broken. This white thing here. I think I do have to take this off, which I do not know how. And I bet you anything to remove this, you have to close this. I don't know if you can see inside. I think I see what's going on. Inside, what I just saw, this is the laser head. When I push it here, the tip of the laser head, at this point here, at this distance here, the head is already making contact with the top part, which pre obviously prevents it from going any further. I don't know what to do at this point. I'm not sure if you can see it clearly. Pay attention, pay attention to here. Yeah, the bottom part of this is down but then makes contact with the top there that black nib right there so because I don't really know how to remove this part it says M3 times 5. Was that a Torx bit? There's no holes. This is a plastic, the plastic part, which is this. I don't see any screws there. Bingo. And I think that's the most it goes. It won't slide out. Now it looks like it's hitting a plastic piece.
there's two pushy things but I think I'll need a third person for me to push these in here and here when I push it in I can feel all this part slacking I don't really want to drop it on the floor on even on a table let me see what happens if I do this Okay, one, two, three. Nope. <coughs> there must be a special tool for this. Now, to do it that way, I'll need a third person, a second person, which is obviously not the case. So what I'm seeing is, it's not hitting, you can see the blue cover on top, which I presume before that that bottom lens was hitting, it's not. It's hitting the plastic part of the end of the tray. You can, yep, yeah, there you see it. So I'm probably damaging the lens. Right there. That's what's preventing this from closing. Now, why did that happen? I don't know. How did this happen? This is brand new. Is there a date? 2020, yeah, two years old. $150 for a two year product. Okay, well, 12 minutes, I'll cut the video because without someone else to help me slide this piece, art piece out without breaking anything, I'm gonna stop. So thank you. So this was a fail. $150 gone. Could have went that gas tank. If anyone of you knows how to do this, please write a detailed or link to someone else because I've been trying to find other videos and it doesn't pertain it doesn't uh, it doesn't pertain to my situation. Thank you guys. Part two. Just when I finished making this video, I realized I do have small little pins. And guess what, YouTube? It worked. I just pushed it in and pushed this back out. And here we go. Let's see what I can do. Let me see my angle. Okay. So I'm trying to put the camera a bit more down. There we go. Sorry about that. I got my light. Wish me luck. And voila. I'm not going to touch that anymore. So here we go. There, see? And okay, no, the lens is protected. Now, why is it doing this? I really do not want to touch this part. I've been lucky so far. There's some white powder stuff there. That doesn't look, looks more like a smudge from a finger, which wasn't mine. I have nothing white. I'm just looking for any burns, anything off. Everything looks good. This connection is still good. The draw. Uh, this looks good. I've had drives all my life, and they're still good. They're still working. I have drives from the '90s that I gave the friends that are still working.
Can I remove this? I would like to remove this, but I've never done this stuff before. Nope. These won't these won't give, so I'm not gonna force it. Now I'm seeing the gears. I want to be careful what I touch here. I'm seeing the gears here. And I've done this on lawnmowers where I removed the belt and I was able to move the but this is totally different and of course it's plastic. How would you fix this? I don't see how I can take out the tray. Well, there's a mark here. Looks like glue or grease. I presume it's grease. So let's try at the same time to force it out. Slowly. Even pressure. Hey, okay, there we go. That's a start. It would help if this worked. Eh. Oh. Okay. Ah, for fuck's sake, need power to put it back. Okay. That seems to have done it. No, this power supply still won't work, but if you saw the lights flicker when I turned it on, so I must have touched something or whatever. So I was able to close it, so I presume that we are good. Presumption is the word.
Well, this is like a car. It's easy to take off, but putting it back, yeah. Oh well, I won't bore you with that. You get the idea. It's in. We'll find out if it works with a different power supply, which I won't film here. All right, sadly, I had to rip apart my wiring to find one that fits. So here we go. Lights on. Nope. Uh, I know why. I didn't put the SATA cord. That's okay. I won't show that. So it works. You can do things yourself. <laughs> 